Hello friends how are you all hope you are doing great at various aspects of your lives life is beyond the basic needs of food clothes and a shelter but you cannot look beyond until these requirements are fulfilled they are the basic needs for the survival to fulfill these basic needs one or more family members need to earn money and those who remain at home do household chores are also participating in this earning from a different and important perspective forget the ancient times in india that is bharat the women are considered as less competitive human beings when it comes to go out and on well they may have lesser physical strength when it comes to certain type of works but the creator has put in some unique abilities in both of the genders the day people will start considering male and female as each other's companion the better half or probably the missing half the purush prakriti union will be completed and the world would be a better place well It is neither a preaching lecture nor a motivational or inspirational blog article. I am reflecting my thoughts on these aspects as today we have a nice book to talk about. Lean in. Women work and the will to lead by Sheryl Sandberg. Sheryl is better known for her job profile as she is working as a COO at Facebook, a social media network. that doesn't need an introduction reaching at this position is not an easy task you need to prove yourself throughout your career by taking landmark decisions to be at such a position but according to me even more important is to do the job at such position it is not as easy as it seem to be of course you earn a handsome amount of money but the decisions you take affect hundreds or thousands of lives directly or indirectly so you have a burden to take correct or less or wrong decisions in timely manner such experiences make you a humble soul who start thinking about the things from a very different perspective such wisdom then make the person think of spreading it for the betterment of the society for the betterment of mass for the betterment of the current generation and the generations yet to come Cheryl's commencement speech at the University of California Berkeley is a gem of a talk we have shared our summarized views and what we learned from that in an article at thinkerviews.com I will put in a link to that particular article in the description below. She went ahead and penned down her thoughts about women in general and how their growth mindset is different than men is a book named Lean In. Women work and the will to lead. We got a chance to read it a while ago and found it worth the time and money. Here are our unbiased views for the same let us start with the cover page of the book being a gateway to the virtual world explored within the cover page affirms the first impression of the book its influence on the casual browsers is well known the first step is to make a browser pick a book to look at the free content and or blurb available to give you more details about the same and then the potential browser can be a buyer or a reader as expected the cover page shows a formal mugshot of Cheryl with her iconic smile the designer has opted for simple and minimalistic cover page with light background and that works pretty much in favor of the book usually we talk about a book in two different segments dedicated each one to the bird's eye view of the story and our views and reviews for the same respectively however the nature of this book is different so here we thought to merge both these segments together the book 
is inspirational and motivational for sure it also elaborates how women are fed in the ladder of leadership business job and success of course one needs to put away his or her prejudiced mindset when exploring and elaborating the content of the book it is about the general scenario she had seen in her surrounding or came to know about it it doesn't mean that the situation and mindset are same all around also there are exceptions to this general stuff the things are however true for a majority of human population and the voice she had given to the same must be heard because by hearing and acknowledging a situation we can be aware about the same and once we are aware we can work on to make the things better she says in the book at the same time we must be careful not to inject gender into every discussion i know a male ceo who is enormously dedicated to hiring and promoting women when a female employee kicked off a negotiation by insisting that she should have a higher title and was undelivered because she was a woman it immediately put him on the defense she was speaking her truth but in this case her truth was an accusation with legal ramifications as soon as she framed the issue in those terms the ceo had no choice but to put their friendly talks on hold and call in hr it might have served her better to explain how she was contributing to the company and ask for the promotion first sheril must be appreciated for this book for sure she talks about the things with an example my grandmother rosaline enhorn was born exactly 52 years before i was on august 28 1917 like many poor jewish families in the boroughs of new york city hers lived in a small crowded apartment close to their relatives her parents aunts and uncles addressed her male cousins by their given names but she and her sister were referred to only as girly consider how they could have felt it may seem a minor thing to the privileged one but for the person who is passing through such circumstances it is a different situation altogether her very existence is questioned when a girl is addressed with a common noun instead of her given name unless of course referred to in an affectionate conversation the scenario she is talking about clearly shows the gender discriminations the same is true for the majority of people she further elaborates another real situation a boy's education was family's hope to move up the financial and social ladder education for girls however was less important both financially since they were unlikely to contribute to the family's income and culturally since boys were expected to study the torah while girls were expected to run a proper home and it is not only preventing women from getting their due but also puts an unnecessary pressure on the men to earn an amount which sometimes is beyond their capacities a chariot will run properly only if both the wheels are doing their work equally and in integrated manner unnecessary burden or unrightfully denials will make their job tougher it eventually lead to breaking the social canvas here is what sheril quote it was thought to be a sign of weakness if a husband needed his wife's help to support their family so my mother became a stay at home parent and an active volunteer sometimes you get the inspiration from the most unexpected place thing or event that happened with sheril also she shares i know my speech was meant to motivate them but they actually motivated me In the months that followed I started thinking that I should speak up more often and more publicly about these issues 
द एटीट्यूड ऑफ कीपिंग एन ओपन माइंड टू गेट वट एवर गुड कम्स टू यू रिगार्डलेस ऑफ इट्स सोर्स मेक्स अ डिफरेंस हर थॉट्स ऑफ मेकिंग प्रोग्रेस आर प्रिटी क्लियर हियर आर अ फ्यू वन लाइन फ्रॉम द बुक दैट कन्वेज हर मे से इज क्लियरली I would not suggest that anyone move beyond feeling confident into arrogance or boastfulness. It is a cliche, but opportunities are rarely offered. They are seized. Everyone has room to improve. Taking initiative pays off. It is hard to visualize someone as a leader if she is always waiting to be told what to do. Cheryl delves deep into the psyche of people in general based on her experience of working with so many male and female fellows she has then articulated this summary ask a man to explain his success and he will typically credit his own innate qualities and skills ask a woman the same question and she will attribute her success to external factors insisting she did well because she worked really hard or got lucky or had help from others men and women also differ when it comes to explaining failure when a man fails he points the factors like didn't study enough or not interested in the subject matter when a woman fails she is more likely to believe it is due to an inherent lack of ability she further elaborates when a man is successful he is liked by both men and women when a woman is successful people of both genders like her less this truth is both shocking and unsurprising shocking because no one would ever admit to stereotyping on the basis of gender and unsurprising because clearly we do very true of course with exceptions She also shares some interesting actions almost every one of that caliber in the professional life could have taken in order to protect ourselves from being disliked we question our abilities and downplay our achievements especially in the presence of others we put ourselves down before others can this is also very true Mostly such attributes are instilled in us during our growing up years. In order to not to hurt our loved ones, we take the blame of his or her actions, and eventually it becomes a part of our personality. Well, one must understand that there is a difference in being humble and being stupid. Cheryl shares about the honesty we find in children. They are almost unfiltered. we teach them to be humble talk with respect to others be civil well all this is necessary of course but there is a thin boundary sometimes very thick that should not be crossed she says this kind of honesty is common from children and virtually unheard of from adults as kids grow up we teach them to be polite watch what they say not hurt others feelings this is not a bad thing as a former pregnant whale i am glad that most people keep some observation to themselves but as we learn to speak appropriately we lose something in authenticity she also mentions authentic communication is not always easy but it is the basis for successful relationships at home and real effectiveness at work The book rightly talks about how our psyche or mentality plays a vital role in judging people without knowing them much. During some situations it is a primary requirement also. For example, when you are conducting an interview, you have to judge the potential in the candidate in a short interaction. And eventually, based on your initial impression, you make him or her part of the team. later you evaluate his or her work in the monthly half yearly yearly progress report or work report sheril shares her experience in the same regards about a month after i joined facebook i got a call from lori goller a highly regarded senior director of marketing at ebay i knew lori a bit socially 
but she made it clear this was a business call and cut to the chase. I want to apply to work with you at Facebook, she said. So, I thought about calling you and telling you all of the things I am good at and all of the things I like to do. Then I figured that everyone was doing that. So instead, I want to ask you, what is your biggest problem and how can I solve it? Less than six months after I started at Facebook, Mark and I sat down for my first formal review. One of the things he told me was that my desire to be liked by everyone would hold me back. He said that when you want to change things, you can't please everyone. If you do please everyone, you aren't making enough progress. Mark was right. She also shares some real wisdom pearls like when companies grow quickly, there are more things to do than there are people to do them. When companies grow more slowly or stop growing, there is less to do and too many people to not be doing them. Politics and stagnations set in and everyone falters. He told me, if you are offered a seat on a rocket ship, you don't ask what seat, you just get on. The mindset that was imposed and then become the part of our personality sometimes prevent us from doing what is needed. We know that seniors need to give advantage of their experiences to the juniors and juniors when implement their fresh ideas has to count on the knowledge and advice they got from seniors but certain level of mentorship is limited. The author says junior women and senior men often avoid engaging in mentoring or sponsoring relationships out of fear of what others might think. And yes, the author also says something very important. If I needed to quote only a segment from the book, I would possibly settle for this. Find your first job. Unless your plan is to become a rock star, you will need a resume. So make it a good one. Make a decision. Do you accept? or walk. Planning, having backup plan and timely actions all are required to get successful in the life, regardless of the age, gender or other attribute. These quotes must have given you a fair idea about the quality of writing and the type of content found in the book. If you love reading such books, it is a worthy choice. In summary, it is a nice book. It analyzes mindset of people, especially working women, and how it can be changed to make the workplace and thus the society a better place. An inspirational book sharing wisdom based on real life experiences. Not only women, but men also can learn a lot from this book. Thinker views rating would be around 8 stars out of 10. Please let us know your comments and thoughts. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this book review. Please let us know if there are any other children's books that you love and would like us to read and review here at Thinkerviews. And until the next time, thank you for listening.